So first off, we're going to jump over here. We have Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin, a monstrous tumble. Now, the key with Bitcoin, look at this flush. I've been telling everyone to watch out for this trend line, right? So if we zoom out on this chart, and again, I want to just say this, folks. There are a lot of influencers out there, tons of them. And they're always saying, hey, it's going to all-time highs. It's going to do this. Don't worry. It's a new bull market. These people, they've been trading for three, four, five years, maybe, maybe a couple cycles in crypto. Folks, I've been trading now for 24 years. I've been day trading, literally making multiple trades every single day in and out, swing trading. And even I still make mistakes. And the point is, is that to learn how to read this stuff, it doesn't happen in a few years trading a few buys on Bitcoin or in the crypto world. It doesn't. You need to be careful who you follow. I was warning everyone 31,000. I said, guys, I don't think it's getting through here. I think it's pulling back. And no one again, very few I should say, believe me, here you have it right here. This is the charts. The charts give us probabilities. I want to be the casino, not the gambler. Being the casino, I'm going to be wrong sometimes, but overall, I'll win more than I don't. And that's the key. All right. So here's your 31,000 level. We know here it hit. Here it hit multiple times. This was the telltale sign. This reversal, you closed above, you got a reversal candle. Reversal candles, technically speaking, are bearish signals. When you have a green and then an equal size red reversing, especially where it's the only candle that really closes above that line, you have to say that's a warning sign. We then saw markets kind of go to sleep. Anytime the market goes to sleep and you have bearish signals, be very careful. And the reason I say that is because the volume starts drying up which means once you get a break of 28,000, it's almost like a trap door opening up and you collapse through it because there's no buyers. There's no buyers here, right? We know that the volume on Bitcoin over the last couple months has gotten anemic. So once you have stops here, tons of people, tons of players putting stops here, when a stop is triggered, it sells automatically. And when there's no buyers, it creates a trap door and you fly through it to the downside. Now again, this is now a break of the 28,000 upsloping trend line. I've been telling you in these game plans for multiple weeks now that this is what we call an upsloping trend. Trend being the key word, upsloping trend line. What this now means is that the upsloping trend has been broken. All right, now you haven't made a lower low yet. That's this point. That'll be the next nail in the coffin here in the near term. Now, if it doesn't make a lower low, okay. That could be a slight positive, but that's the next point we're watching. So I want to add that into my chart right now. For those of you that are home gamers, you guys can see again right here. Look at how close we got to it too. The flush almost took us to this level. The reason why this level is so important on Bitcoin is because this is where BlackRock came out and said, hey guys, we're filing for a spot Bitcoin ETF. If we get below that, psychologically, that's going to screw with a lot of investors' minds, right? 